the convo we are having with one of the members yeah. was basically that these people here, sometimes they're always concerned of hearing why people talk about him or someone spoke about him and what does it bother them? Yeah, correct. So someone, so, so, so one of their mates, one of their friends was speaking about him, all right, and they That's were concerned right. about that. That's right. And we're saying now that out of all, for some reason that that's that bothered him because he was like, oh, this guy's talking about me. That's right. All right, we always want to know what people are saying. That's right. You know, like, like we're worried when people say things in the comments. That's right. We want to know what people think about us. That's right, yeah. exactly. So, well, so well, what was he saying? Was so basically uh, saying that I heard someone was speaking about me on the weekend That's it. between two, two mates. Yeah. And I'm more concerned to find out why they were speaking about me yeah. first. Yeah. Second, what they were saying. Now, why do people always, why are they concerned always to find out what was exactly said? And also, why they were talking about him. Right. So, the thing that was said about this Person? individual yeah, yeah. was... Um, was nothing. He was more fixed on, oh, this guy was... He heard that someone's been talking about him. That's it. All First right? of all, they go into a negative. That yeah. has to be negative. Yeah, they're talking... They're not just talking about him. They could be praising him. That's right. They're talking... But he thinks he's talking shit about him. That's right. Okay. It, it, the mind immediately goes to that. The mind immediately goes to negativity. 100%. Yeah, okay. Second of all, yeah. is the concern about what exactly was said. So I really want to know. Someone, someone could be like, oh, they were talking about me, no problem. Yeah, they were talking about me. And I'm going to issue with that. Okay. Then it's another level of basically, I want to know exactly yeah, yeah. what was said. Yes. And that's the ego, like, I want to know. What they said, yeah. Yeah, because if they said something, you know, that doesn't align with the way I see myself. That's right. There's an issue here. There's an issue. I, ha I have to attack this. Yes. I've got to sort this out. I want to know what the consensus is. Yeah, I've got to sort these people out. I've got to make sure, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to release a press conference. Yes, you got to release a press conference. Yeah. You know, it's this, it's a... Uh, got to have my fair statement, my fair whatever. Well, it's, it's affecting the brand. <laughs> it's affecting the brand, yeah. The false brand. The false ego brand, that's it. Yeah. What are we projecting? What am I, what, are, what do I want to project out into the universe or to the, to the, pub, to the public? Yeah. This is the false, that's what they're thinking. I've got an image of myself and this is the way I live my life. And anyone that disrupts that flow, I have to sort out. I have to sort out, yeah, that's right. That's right. Whether I put the blame on them, they're, whatever they're fucking, they dumb cunts. It's got to align. It's got to. It's got to align with my ego. It's got to align with. Obviously, they don't know if they've got an ego or not. Correct. It's got to align with the way I see myself. Correct. True or false. True That's, or doesn't false. Ma doesn't matter if it is. No. Yeah, it fucks up their version of the story. Okay, so generally, when people are concerned about other people talking um, about them, talking talking yeah. about them, yeah, when you when you say it out loud like that, like oh. Oh, he, he's been talking about me. That's right. It's always like he's going to be saying something fucking dumb. Yeah, shit. And that's when I speak to these people. I'm like, yeah, all right. They've been talking about you. Cool, no problem. First of all, this bothers them. All right, there's a problem. There's a problem already. Yeah. But it's like, all right, what are they saying? Are they saying that, oh, this guy's fucking a legend? No, they're not thinking that. It immediately was said before. It's not going to the negative. That's right. Something must be wrong with me. Something must be wrong someone, with me. Someone must be criticizing me. Criticizing. That's right. That's right. Okay. So they're criticizing, um, and we have to know we can't. You can't let it slide. Even though we don't like it, even if we knew somebody was talking shit about us, for sure. Yes. Even though we don't like it, we can't help but finding out what these people said. Exactly. Even though we might not even like this. Generally, we don't like the people. That's for sure. Oh, they've been talking shit. It's like the people in the comments, they talk shit about you because they don't fucking know you, obviously, but they talk shit about you. And um, But your ego, your insecurities can't help but wanting to know, to value that in a, a slight little bit. You value what this shit cunt is saying about you. That's right. That's the fucked up part. And it goes with that Joe Rogan thing you said the other day. Yeah. That one of his mates and they were talking about 
That's right. You know, what, you know why do you have to check your Instagram or whatever, your social media, and, and read Correct. the comments? Read the comments, yeah. Even and though you know most of the comments are going to be negative? Yes. You still, the ego still wants to know. The ego, the ego still wants some approval or some kind of... Yeah, once everyone wants to know that, they're, they're cheering you on, they're, they're supporting you, and they're, oh, he's the best person in the world. Yeah, but they know they're going to be reading or... Negative stuff. Finding out negative yeah. stuff. They think that by reading negative stuff, they're going to improve somehow or they're going to, they're going to change it and they're going to do something with that information. They think they're going to do something positive with the negative information. But mm. every time... Doesn't matter if it's your Instagram, social media. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it's finding out that this person was talking negative about me, some friend between friends. You're not gonna take that negativity and make it something positive. You're just gonna go through a down a spiral of negativity yourself. That's right. All right. Sirik and uh, Eddie thinks that what this guy was saying about him, he's gonna. Let's say he says, oh, he's, he's going to fix it. He's a fucking idiot. He's going to fix it. He's going to fix it. Yeah. He's going to fix it. Yeah. Let's say, for example, the person's talking, is actually talking shit about him. So They're going to go, I'm going to go and pull him up. I'm going to correct. Oh, he's going to fix it between the person. That's right. Not I'm going to fix co- something within themselves. No, no, of course not. Mm. It's always the, the other way. It's I'm going to fix the outside world to fix me. Correct. I'm not going to fix me. And then the outside world gets fixed. 100%. So they're thinking that. I'm going to go fix the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So. I'm going to fix the problem. Yeah, so first of all, I'm going to go correct the person. From what he said that, he, he's... Yeah, he's going to set the record straight. That's right. Okay. And then he's going to find out, you know, why they said that and all this other bullshit. Yeah. Um, why they said that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so they're just concerned. They're, they're always concerned is how the outside world perceives them. I feel like, yeah, they are 100%, but I feel like there's something there as in like sometimes people want to hear the negativity in some sick way, sick way, in some fucking sick way. Yeah, some twisted way because it, it, it allows them to be feel alive some it's a shit I'll tell you I'll tell yeah. you in some fucked up way to validate their ego and of see course. if they're really right of course yeah that's, yes. that's yes. what it is it's, exactly. an neuro- it's, it's a neurosis yeah it's like stressing about something but they want to know if the thing they're fucking insecure about first of all is right that's right like the ego is so fucked up that it wants to know even if it's a negative thing if it's correct or not that's the problem that's right so even the ego of of course is second guessing itself flat out yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but it's ego, unstable itself of course it needs it needs validation yeah and that validation is is that's the fucked up part because why would you want to validate a negative yeah no. I want to know that I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, exactly. That's what yes, it is. Exactly. You can't help it. Exactly. Because the feeling of being right is very powerful. The feeling of knowing like, yeah, that's why it's, it's psycho there. It is. The feeling of like, I'm right about me being a dumb cunt is yeah. so high on the list. Yeah. I need to know that. I need to know if I'm really a yeah. dumb cunt. Yeah. I feel that sometimes I'm a dumb cunt, but even these cunts know that I'm a dumb cunt. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking crazy it's fucking fuck it's man. fucking crazy fuck man it gets so fucking deep it's, it's so it's so distorted oh. it's it's so you could even say like I don't know if I had to support the ego say, here, say support. okay some kind of like hey the ego at least it's evil and it, it's always consistently evil but the thing is the reality is that the ego is so unstable it's actually it's fucked up in its by itself. Yeah. Even if it had the total power, it won't lead you exactly where it wants to lead you. It doesn't even know where it's leading you. No, it just no. wants you to be always unstable. Because <laughs> it itself is unstable. It well, it wants to achieve a goal. The goal is uh, it's got a uh, these these uh, these beliefs have to be correct. Yeah. I, I 
can't have been lying to myself. Yeah, yeah. I have to make these beliefs come true. If I think I'm a, a dumb guy, if I think I'm a nobody, if I think I'm fat, yeah, I've got to whatever, validate it. That's it. If I'm ugly, it's got to be validated. Yeah. Right that's or it. wrong. That's it. it. Doesn't matter what it is. Not I mean, for right or there wrong. There is no right or wrong. Yeah. There's, this is the goal here. Exactly. And In this specific specific situation, am I a dumb cunt? Fuck. Yes or no? Tick. Next one. And it keeps on going and going and going and going. And it's irrelevant why it's doing this. It doesn't, it doesn't have a goal. Correct. Its goal is obviously to keep you off the path. That's right. To validate your beliefs. Yeah, eh? that's it. That's Whatever it. beliefs. And yeah. if, if your beliefs are fucked up, it's going to find things and situations that validate that. That's fucked up. Yeah. It, it's, you know how many times I've really like explained to people, like people have argued with me how fucked up they are. Yeah. Like they, they'll rather be right about the negative. That's right. And I'm like, can you hear yourself what you're saying? Stop validating your fucking, um, not your insecurities, but your um, your shortcomings. Yeah, your shortcomings, your actions, whatever they might be. Oh, yeah. we get it. Your we, beliefs. Yeah, we get it. All right, you're overweight. We get it. Yeah, but you don't know how overweight I am. I don't, I'm, yeah, I don't I'm fucking really overweight. Fuck, fuck. I'm that bad that I yeah. fucking do this and I do this and I do yeah. that. Yeah. And it's all of it's negative and it's wrong. Yeah, it's one of those I can't. Do you understand weight. how fucked up I am? Correct. Or you don't get it. You're not doing this. Yeah. Or some fucking bullshit. Yeah. Or it's harder for me. Yeah. And obviously I've done this to myself in the past, mate. Like my situation is, you know, in the past was really bad. No, you don't know how bad it is. I'm really. He's bad. If you think he's bad, you see me. Correct. So we yeah we love to validate these. Obviously, there's a lot of my false beliefs. Um. Yeah, they're just. We're so stuck in getting into how shit we really are, how, how shit we really feel. Yeah, correct. But it's not necessary. What's the fucking point of trying to prove that's how bad you are? Where are you going with that? No negative, that's right. No negative uh, belief is, is real. Yeah. What, what does it help you proving doesn't how help bad anything. you are? No, it doesn't help anything. It's not going to help anything. Yeah, exactly. Ego wise, the only thing it does help is it lets you know where you stand. Yeah, it's got That's a, all it a does. clear identity. It ticks a box. Yeah. I know who I am. This is me. Yeah. I'm not good at this. I suck at this. I can't do public speaking. I can't, um, I can't do a podcast. Yeah. What am I going to say? Yeah. I'm not interesting enough. All these limited beliefs. Exactly. But my thing is, like, sweet, you're not this. How can you get to be this, what do you have to do to be that? Well, that's another thing altogether. They're always they're just still stuck on level one. Bravo, level one. That's fucked. Yeah, they're not looking to change. The default doesn't doesn't automatically think that. Oh yeah, I got a problem. I need to find a solution, which it should be like that. Yeah, problem solution. Yeah, right. That's the way everything should be. Yes. So they're not looking at that. They're just stuck on the problem. That's right. I've got this problem. Got this problem. Got this problem. I keep on going. I got this problem. This is yeah. the way it is. That's the way it is. And every time it comes up in some kind of conversation, that same issue, they know automatically to answer it. I've got this problem. Yeah. They've never ex- explored. I've got the solution as well. Well, I should be fixing it. That's right. But it goes back to validating the ego. Yeah. The deeper you are with a problem, like if I'm sixty, and I'm still on level one, and I'm trying to fix a certain problem. The belief is so deep, all right, that sometimes the ego doesn't want to solve the problem because it doesn't want to be wrong. Of course. That's sometimes the hardest part about um, transitioning or growing as a person because you can't, you, you, it's hard to accept that there was an answer and I didn't see it. Fuck. That's the, that's the fucked up yeah. part. Yeah, exactly. Even if they come to the realization that, I was wrong or I could have changed that as you're saying. You know, what's the point now? I'm 60 years old. Yeah. I just keep on going the way I am. Hasn't been that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or they can't even see the solution because they, they don't want to see the solution because to see the solution, you have to be wrong. People, yeah. wrong, being wrong, so-called wrong, and failure is the same shit. Everyone's got the fear of the failure. Think about it. Why? What, what's so... Scary about failing, and what's so scary about being wrong? There, 
basically it just shows that you're not a man of your word uh, you're you're false uh, everything you've painted a picture of is is bullshit they don't see it they see it as a the alpha and the mega it's black or white they don't see it as that sweet today i said something tomorrow i thought about it and i changed it yeah it's, they don't see it as something evolving their life's evolving they say that that's how i am and this is how i have to be and i'm going to change in that they don't see life that it has to evolve you have to grow and growing is a n- normal thing correct they don't see it as a process correct but we attach to the the identity of failing and wrong all right what that does is it it attacks your beliefs yes which attacks your ego which attacks your foundations which everything else is built off yes that's why it hurts when we fail because we fail we're like how do i adapt to the new me if i'm not this then what am i if that was wrong it's like yeah. always comes back to like you believe in god and then let's say you find out tomorrow oh god doesn't exist you're like fuck every other thing stems from that fucking belief that's right all right what do i do now the reason why it's so hard to see the truth sometimes is exactly because of that because it's too hard yeah, it's the unknown is 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 worse than the known it's too hard yeah. it's too hard like who am i where do i even start to begin yeah can i be fucked correct with this new identity oh that's why some people they can't reconcile that yeah and then they say that the old identity doesn't matter if it was really really bad or mild bad they're thinking it always it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad even if it was really shit the the thought of creating something new and going out to the stepping out to the new world the unknown is way more fearful than yep. going to what i currently know yeah and the fear is because we don't we don't have a we're not we stable have, with ourselves we're not stable that foundation of the the belief yeah. system we, that we run by yeah it comes to again we were saying at a previous conversation self-esteem that i'm capable i'm okay with whatever may come yeah and then the confidence comes into a self-confidence but i'm okay with what comes and that's the, the biggest part i'm cool to be proven wrong let's say i'm I'm cool to be to shed some light on something that I thought differently yesterday. But am I cool with what may come now? Right. And that's the key, I think, being cool with what may come now. Cuz it could be anything, good or bad. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't want to take the risk. And that's why they don't change. They stay where they were because I'm not open for the risk. Also the fear of like comes back to if you don't know where the fuck you're going you don't know what to do or who to become or what what you need to get there guaranteed so see the the paradox of life is you have to have foundation of fundamental beliefs that everything else goes off because otherwise we'd be fucking we're just cruising around just lost cunts of course but at the same time they need to be fluid in a way where they can be changed for the better um and that's the that's the the hardest part to be in that kind of um solid state fluid state of course because it comes you with know. attachments everything comes with an attachment yeah you got to have hardcore beliefs but yeah. you also got to be hardcore be able to change those beliefs because yeah the attachments you know how we spoke about like we always we want things sometimes we want things but we don't know what it looks like yes all right we so the reason we're scared like if your mind is set like i just want to become the person i need to become to get where i need to go okay yes. that's fucking full that's the end i goal. haven't judged it yeah but if you ju- if you've been judging your whole life that fit people fucking are narcissistic and they're up themselves and they fucking think they're better when that thought comes by you that look for you to let to, for you to elevate and grow as a person you need to work out fucking doll in your diet get fit no, yep. it's gonna be like fuck man i've been I've i don't been, want to be that person i've been talking shit about this fucking kind of person yeah but also that i don't want to be that kind of person either that's what i'm saying yeah 
but they don't want to be that person. Mm. But unfortunately, it's irrelevant where you you need to be that person to get where yeah. you want to go. Because we, if we knew who we had to become to get where we want to go, we would have already fucking been there. Yeah. And it comes with money as well. Yeah, you know, the belief that rich people are all evil. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to be seen as rich. Correct. Because I'm a good person. Yeah. And if I had money, that means automatically I'm a bad person. Correct. So they get money out of their lives and they always become and stay become well they actually always stay good people yeah the belief is that yeah I'm not going to sell myself for money that's it and they never enter their mind that but I could be me and a good person and have money correct one equals the other it doesn't have doesn't have two or three it doesn't have anything it's black or white same thing with the working out you said you could be a really good person and be fit and healthy. You could be fucking whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. But we always think that this has to be like this and you can't be this and that. No. All right. We're so fucking limited and one-sided. Yeah. Narrow-minded, whatever you might call it. Yeah. We're so fixed. Yeah. It's so fixed. Now, how do you tell somebody you got to be stable within yourself but also be malleable and be able to move and uh, adapt to different things that's well, a you give them analogies you can give them the analogy of uh, let's say a house a lot of people you know, couples that want to build a new house they don't just go and the block of land here you start putting that there you start putting this there you're just guessing yeah. they go to an architect they get the plan that's right and they go to a builder and the builder says these are stages of we're building. Now, obviously, during a build, shit goes wrong, and they adapt. That's right. And they get the result of the finished product, the house. Yeah. With your life, if you haven't got a plan, the architect, then how do you know how to build a house? How do you know how to find the builder that's going to deliver that all the skills that you need, you know, to become an influencer, for example. That's right. And then. Also, the attachments you have are the shit that goes wrong on the build. So shit may go wrong, but I'm attached to this, I'm not going to fix it. You don't be attached to the spark if you didn't rock up. So they didn't rock up, they're not doing a good job, fire them, fix another company. Yeah. I need the job done. So yeah, the attachments are the shit that goes wrong and it fucks people up on the way and how you want it to be and how you think it's going to be and yeah, blah, blah, exactly. blah 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 yeah. yeah all these all these things are under the same umbrella yeah achieving something is not good enough has to look a certain way that's how we yeah yeah that's a so, that's the attachments yeah. so at the end of the day all our issues 95% of all our issues come from here our problems come from here that's it that's it we create our own Problems. Yeah, we're not in a life or death situation. No. No one is. No. So, yeah, the mental game. We need to get better at the mental game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Better self talk, better habits. These little things go a long way. If we get a few of these under our belt, Get a few these a few a few of these working, and in line. Our lives, our lives can improve. That's the it's the way it is. We're not no one's saying even for us. No one's saying go from zero to hero. We're saying can you do small improvements. Every single day, small. Today I'm not doing anything. Tomorrow I'm gonna do ten push-ups. The next day ten push-ups. The next day, and then I eventually go to 20, 50, 100. And slowly, slowly, you become better. That's it. With anything. Public speaking, your job, whatever it might be. Small improvements. Yeah, but that's a, that's a, good, that's a good thing you're saying. Um, why is it that people don't understand the concept of small steps? It's a very simple question. Well, well, it's very, the answer is simple. Make it... The Not most simple. Okay. They don't want to put the effort. 
it comes to effort. Okay, so the first thing, like if I tell you, all right, look, let's, le- you know, you got to learn how to do a, a backflip. Yes. All right. And you think, Order. yeah, fuck, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. I'm, I'm down with that. It, t- it, ticks the, it ticks the box that I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Okay. Then it goes to, well, if you're down with it, it's easier to get into it, obviously, because you like it, blah, 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 blah. Yes. But if I tell somebody, look, you know, maybe you should start working out you'll fucking feel better all of a sudden the picture that they paint is like fuck all right how long is that going to take all of a sudden it goes to and that's part of the limited thinking of course that's part of that negative if your voice if you're trying to do something and the first thing that comes in your fucking mind is this is going to be too much of a task you're fucking finished guaranteed although that might be the case doesn't mean it's necessarily true or yeah there is a task but the task can be broken up yeah there is effort involved there's effort involved but it doesn't have to be like you said it's not zero to hero no you know nothing happens that quickly it's impossible no one goes from white belt to black belt no fucking way in one day that's it no one goes from fucking you know mail room to fucking ceo yeah from fucking broke to fucking a millionaire no yeah. No. These are all these things that require effort. It doesn't matter what it is. Correct. And effort, with time, gets the result. Yes. With time. That's right. It takes fucking time. That's right. But allowing that possibility, that optimism to come in, that's people's fucking problem. Yeah. The problem is their, their default is that's going to be too hard. How the fuck is it going to happen? Too time consuming. And obviously they're missing that clarity. That's Most people are missing the clarity, the how to. That's... Almost, it could be like 99% of the thing. That's what a big thing about our journey. The clarity, the how-to, nobody shows you fucking nothing. You don't have any mentors. you got to fucking work everything else. We did everything the hard way. How much do you really way. fucking want it? How much do Self-tale, you really want it? Self-doubt, can I do it? Yeah, yeah. There's so many barriers. But trying to work it out on your own, trying to work it out on your own is fucking like a million times harder. It is. But understanding these few concepts of, all right. You can get a mentor. Getting a mentor cuts through the learning curve. That's right. Of course. You know, when you go to learn, when you go to learn martial arts, you're not fucking looking in the mirror and teaching yourself. Obviously not. Someone who's fucking been there and done that tells you. And they teach you. You go to school, everyone's got a teacher. That's it. That's it. But in life, in life, we don't have no teachers. No. Now, we do have teachers, our our so-called, our parents. But, you know, it's yeah. limited. Yeah. They can but, teach us some values and shit. Of course. But, but getting a black belt, so getting a black belt in judo, you know that there's a, system, there's a system. And the sensei knows the system. But no one really knows the exact system in life. N- not only that, there's a lot of mentors out there like Tony Robbins, great, you know. They know some kind of a system. Really, they know their system. But no one knows your exact system. No one knows your exact system. And that's where the problem lies. That this, But you can filter through. You get a bit from here, a bit from here, a bit from here, and you make your own system. Yeah, in saying that, some system there's a lot of overlaps of course yeah, a lot of, of systems course, of course. um <laughs> a lot of systems They're very similar any system is better than no system yeah, as well right. and um as far as an exact um recipe for if we're talking about personal happiness and personal success development. yeah yeah exactly yeah um being a better you that's individualized but the principles are definitely Sweet, but go back to the ego. We're so fucked up that we want to know exactly how we want to be. So, let's say, for example, I want to improve myself. Okay, that's how fucked up we are. I want to improve myself, so I'm not going to copy exactly what Anthony Robbins did. I want to know my version of that. I want to find somebody that knows exactly my version of that. My version. And what we're saying here is that why don't you just start with Tony Robbins' version and just, even if that was the end, 
you know, you didn't find your one and you just found his one, your life would be a lot fucking better than it currently is. Correct. So Correct. do some kind of a version rather than doing no version. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's all we're saying. That's exactly what we're saying. And um, yeah, the recipe, as far as when we talk about the exact version, we're talking about the how the path's going to look, like every step to take. There yeah. is no every step no, to take. No, no. There's broad, there's principles, shit you have to do that's been like refined over time. And these things are, in my opinion, pretty much 100%. Like you do these few things, you know, like for instance, like you said before, negative thinking doesn't do fuck all for you. You can't grow with negative. No one's ever grown. No one's ever done anything. No, you can't no, use it as a tool to improve. No one's ever thought, oh, fuck, oh, you know, I can't, I'm a useless cunt and somehow gained in life. That's never happened in no. history. So that's, you, you can tick that off your fucking list, all right? Don't think like that. It's not worth thinking about it. Get it out of there. You're not going to be in the it's race. It's one less thought of 60,000 a day. That's it. Just by thinking of shit doesn't get you fucking anywhere. No. But it is a start. But thinking about positive, it's not always positive. I think no, it's know, not positive. This is one it's thing. It's productive. Yeah, one of the reels I made was like um, about positivity. Just quickly to cover this, when people think positive, like oh yeah, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm positive. Yeah. Why is it always associated with, with like I'm happy and my attitude is like I'm fucking like uh, not perky, but like yeah, perky. I'm yeah, uplifted. Uplifted. Like I'm, I'm, I feel fucking like a mad cat. Because That's not positive been, thinking. Because they've been told to do that. Yeah, or got, positive is plus, plus, plus. Yes. We've got to feel a certain way. Because yeah. a lot of these mentors, you said, there are people out there. There is people out there. But there's a lot of wrong people as well. Yeah, that's right. So a lot of people putting bums on seats and saying, hey, I'm doing a personal development seminar, come, and, come around and just be positive and just be happy. and just, Sweet. But they're missing a key point here that it requires effort and you, you, have, you have shit times and it's okay to have shit times. You can't possibly have positive 24-7. It's impossible. You're correct. Correct. You, all you got to do... I'll go back to what... You all you got to feel do, so-called yeah, positive. Yeah, exactly. What you got to do is basically learn how to get back up quicker. That's all it is. But they're not selling that. So these people do go to these seminars. They do find these people, these mentors, these false mentors. They tell them... Be positive, be positive. And, then, and they're programmed in their mind that I have to be positive and that's how they fuck themselves up. Yeah, that goes in line with like motivational. Motivational. Yeah. Where does that play a role? Is that a yeah. real thing? Like you, Because a lot of these, um, you know, the seminars we've been to in the past or whatever, they're very uplifting, motivational. Like you're yeah, gonna for go the moment. Fucking... For the moment. And then they walk out the door and they're gone. So they lack the understanding. Yeah, instead of being inspired to go do something and do it on your own, I'm just giving you the guidelines. I'm just making you feel that momentarily you can. Yeah. It's almost like a drug. It's a drug, yeah. So they're selling, they're, they're drug dealers. Correct. Like when I work out, I don't listen to music. I listen to podcasts. Yeah. Because I don't need, you know, that's, that's me, of course. Of course. Because I'm fucking from within inspired, you know what I mean? Exactly. I don't need like to get G'd up. Yeah, so it's inspiration or motivation. Yeah, I don't that's take... the difference. Pre workout, none of that. It's pre fucking pre workout. We didn't do. I wasn't fucking sleeping five minutes ago. I mean, all right, in the morning maybe you need some pre workout, but that the problem is you you lean on that kind of thing. You lean on motivation. You lean on like oh, I need that good song to yeah. g me up. Yeah, all that positivity. Yeah, I've got to watch some YouTube. Get in the mood to do shit. That's right. That's right. All this shit's cool, but it's um, but it's also destructive as well because you rely on it. That's what it is. It's yeah. a crutch. It can be a crutch. Now you know if you if you're if you're fucking sweet in your head and you're using it as a tool and like oh, this exactly. is not going to be forever. Exactly. Be, 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 be. Exactly. We're not saying you wake up in the morning. Yeah, start slapping yourself at shit. All right. Or that. Let's say you have to get up in the morning and go for a run. Okay. I really want to do this. You get up in the morning and you sort of can't be fucked. It happens to everybody. And you put a rocky song on, for example, and it boosts you up for that moment. No problem. Use it. Yeah, use it. Or a, a really good speech, that motivational speech for five seconds, five minutes. Yeah. That to get you inspired like to in that. That's sense. fine, no yeah. problem. But relying on that to push you for it, it's a dumb game. No, it's not. It's a, it's a very uh, short-term thinking. Exactly. It's not long-term. It's not sustainable. No. It's too, no. I've got to lean on this and that does the work for yeah. me. 
And if I'm not feeling positive, I'm not feeling good, I shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I have to feel like this and then I can do this. So yeah. I'm relying on this feeling to take the action. Correct. Rather than just doing the action, don't worry about what you feel like. That's right. So positive, this positive fucking thing, all right, and we've known some people in the past who are like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm feeling good. All right, fucking good luck to you. Yeah. It's good to feel good. It is. Different feeling like inspired, you know, I can do shit. But different, I'm in a good mood, I'm feeling positive. To me, positivity or thinking positive as opposed to thinking negative, optimistic is is a level of positivity. Yes. So when I tell people like, instead of thinking, sweet, we're programmed to think, I can't do this or I don't have what it takes. No problem. How about you leave the door open and think, you know, if I do this for long enough, yeah, I can get it. I'm going to hit the mark. If I like spin it in a way where it's open, it's not, once you go negative and you judge the situation as it is, you close yourself off, that's it. There is no coming back from that. The recovery is But if you leave possible. it, oh, maybe it can happen. Maybe. Let's leave it at maybe. Maybe is an optimistic thing. Yeah. yeah, it's not, I don't have proof. Yeah. Fuck, there is no but fucking you, proof. Yeah, being open to it is the beginning. Being open because yeah. um, I know people, for me, I'm, I find I can be faithful very easily. Like if I'm feeling something, I can be sold and I don't need too much proof for shit. That's right. All right? But, um, you know, that could be good or bad. I could be fucking following fucking cult leader cunts. Of course. No problem. But so far... It's worked out well. It's been good. Yeah. But as we know, a lot of people need the proof. The proof is just that last justification for the ego to hang in there. Yes. The ego wants the proof. It does. Because it needs to say, eh, eh, but there's a chance, like, mate, this isn't going to go your yeah. way. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the ego is uh, the enemy of faith. That's exactly right. So let's pull it back. All right, sweet. How about we just say, nothing's for sure. Yes. But if we don't try fucking nothing, nothing will ever get done. This, yeah. is, this is facts. Let's cling to the facts. We don't have to be like, oh, I'm going to succeed, fuck it, for sure. Because no, fuck, it's too much pressure. Because, yeah, that's right. I'll tell you why it's too much pressure. But the, this, is, this is the funny part. The funny part is we're more likely to say that it's more, it's more believable to say, I'm not going to achieve that for sure than I am going to achieve that for sure. Both are wrong. Yes. Both... Like, for you to say, I'm never going to do that, you got faith. No one's saying that that validation, that, that, that statement is correct. No. You're using faith, but because it's in a negative, you feel all right with it. Yes. Because you don't have to do fuck all. That's it. And you always know it is for sure if I choose to pull the plug or do of nothing, course. it's never going to happen. It's the guarantee. It's the guarantee. It's the guarantee. Yeah. If I, don't, if I want to get ripped, work out and all that, I need, I need, it requires effort. Go back to what you're saying. Yeah requires effort if I know that I want to do that and but I know that if I don't do it I remain like this it's no problem it's guaranteed yeah so effort maybe I'm not sure could be could be difficult I might not achieve it but if I do this not don't do anything I'm guaranteed and, and I'm all right with guaranteed as well we want guarantees yeah but that's all. But that's if you don't do anything. That's if you don't do it. It's not a guarantee. It's the, the there is a guarantee as far as if I do this, the result is guaranteed. Yeah. The, I'm not going to do it is a guarantee. That's the if guarantee. I don't do yeah, anything. that's a guarantee. Yeah. If I don't do anything, I'm guaranteed not going to get this. That's right. I know that's for sure. That's for sure. Now, am I okay with that? If sometimes if you are okay with it, you settle for it. Yeah. It's not just okay with that. It's just more. We can see it more than. The, Achieving the opposite side, yeah, they're correct. Yeah, yeah. So go, go go back to what you're saying. Yeah. You know, why don't we do shit? Because basically, everyone, their true, everyone's true self inside, they might be at a barbecue and they might be talking about starting a new business. And it might sound like, fuck, that sounds like a good idea. Everyone's really open to improvement, improving themselves and getting to a better place and 
everyone's open to it initially. And then, as you said before, it's it's when they they find out what's what's involved. Yeah. To achieve this, is where it gets distorted. That's right. That's why we always filter people and we say, "All right, so if you can press this button, fit, the magic health, one, yeah. fit, healthy, rich, yeah, press the button, you're that. Would you press it? Fucking everyone says yes. Uh, yes, yeah. But then, but 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 comes after that. Yeah, the and that's but. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like they would do it if it was like that. Yeah, zero that's the hero. Obviously, you know that's probably a dumb question. Like obviously, someone everyone's going to do that. Of course. Nobody. What do they say? No, nobody ever wakes up wanting to be more overweight and poorer. We know this. Fuck. Have you ever woken up like that, mate? Man, I wish I was fucking the fattest. Can I was fucking broke all the time. I want to wake up every like day. That one day every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, but yeah, it's it's. How much effort is required? Am I able to do this? Am I willing to give up the time to do this? Because if I give up the time, I have to sacrifice something somewhere else. Correct. That might be from the couch. Could be from the couch. Might be from the conversations on the fucking phone with mates, the coffees with the mates. Yeah, the slab of beer. Yeah. Yeah, the doobies after well, work. Yeah, all these uh, vices. All these vices, you know, that are really, going out clubbing. Yeah, which we, we're we're sold to believe that we really actually like these things. Correct. Yeah, we're yeah. going to be part of the crowd. That's it, mate. That's, that's what it. people do. Yeah, we want to be liked. We want to be liked. We want to be different. Have to fit in, don't I? We have to. What's going to happen if I don't? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I'm not going to have any friends. That's fine. Nobody's going to like me. That's okay. But we get a whole value from that. That's why we love that shit. That's it. Our value is reliant on other motherfuckers. Boom. Which is cool if you want to be controlled yeah. by other cunts. It's cool. But I don't want to be controlled by other cunts. That's it. That's it. You want to be controlled by other cunts there? I don't think so. Fuck those cunts. No. It's too controlled by other cunts. What's and, the point? And I get it. Oh, I get it for sure. What's he going to say? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. I've been that person. Yeah. You're going to be criticised, which you know. I care what people think. That's it. And it's not, you know, you know, some people get it twisted. When we say, you know, it's not about not giving a fuck. Like, no. Like someone says, you know, someone fucking dies right at my feet. I'm like, oh fuck yeah, I just look <laughs> over. Who a fuck about this cunt? No, 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 it's no. Not, it's not. I don't give a fuck. It's just people think that I don't give a fuck means being disrespectful, or I don't give a yeah, fuck. Being about ruthless it. and being fucking. I'm gonna start killing people for no reason. That's it. It's not serial killer. No. It's just this is all it is. A few motherfuckers that don't know. It's I value what I think about myself more than every other motherfucker. That's all it is. And the only reason that we feel bad because of that is because we've got a low self-esteem and we've been conditioned to feel that way. We need to fit in. That's why it feels bad. That's why you feel like, you know, I'm not being nice. Like when you tell someone no, why does it feel like, I told them no, but really I told them to get fucked. Like I fucking, you know, told told him to fuck his mum to go fuck herself. Why does it feel like that? Because as our friend... Dan Pena says they're fucking snowflakes. They're snowflakes. Just hearing something, hearing no, or hearing even the tone of your voice. Don't worry about the word no. Your no is like go get fucked. Yeah, it is go get fucked. Even the tone of your voice, if you're saying, I really love you, to oppose, I fucking really love you. Yeah, correct. Well, his tone of voice also was way out. Yeah. He meant it in a bad way. We can sell anything that's fucking negative to ourselves. Correct. Anything. Correct. But we think just. Just saying... The word no. The word no. It doesn't have to be like, no. No. Or like, let's say someone wants your time. All right, let's say you're a little bit popular. I'll come out for dinner. Your mate's like, come out for dinner, come out for dinner. No, I can't. Can. How many times? No. That is your problem to deal with. Yeah. It's not my fucking problem. Yeah, even just saying, no, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's God doesn't like me. doesn't want to That's hang around it. with me. That's it. And we start making all this shit... In our mind, we start cooking these these things in our minds. Yeah. How how the person's going to take it? Yeah. They, how they've offended us. We're looking for ways to be offended. Not just yeah. Not just, sorry. Not just yeah. offended us, but how if we say no to someone, how they're going to take it? Yeah. How, how they're going to get? Of course. If, you know. Oh, I said no. They're going to think I'm fucking. I don't yeah. like him anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not saying be cold-hearted. We're not saying anything like that. As you said, we're just saying. Put your belief of yourself higher than someone else's 
believe of yourself. That's right. So just back the shit that you believe, you know, supports you. Correct. But at the start, you can't, it doesn't change like that. No, we're not saying it does. The no, the putting, you know, letting someone down slowly or, you know, being respectful when you deny someone something that they might want. See, you've only got so much limited, you've only got limited time and energy on this fucking planet. Yeah. Now, if you think it's cool to just keep on giving it away to make someone else feel better. Sweet. All right. And, you know, over what you really want, then that's cool. But if you want to start valuing yourself, you got to start acting like you value yourself. That means telling someone no when you got other shit to do. Now, I like to lead with, oh, look, I'm one of those people who think if I'm not authentic, it, I feel I feel like I'm I'm being fake. Yes. All right. I'm being like I'm I'm lying. So I might you know back in the day you know I had a mate. He wants my time, and I'm like, all right, I'll go out with him because I know it makes him happy. But really inside myself, I'm like, I can't be fucked. I just want to stay home. I just want to do my own thing. Yeah. But I want to, I don't want to hurt him. That's right. We've been mates fucking since grade three, and all this bullshit. Yeah, been mates forever. I don't want yeah. to hurt him and let him down. He's been there, this and that. You and start then recalling this. some times that he did some good, some good things for you as well. That's it. And then for me, I started to think like. Why am I giving this guy half of myself? I don't really want to be here. I don't really want to hang out all the time. So then, uh, you yeah, know, that motivated me to um, start choosing myself and start, look, I don't want to rob the person of the real me and give him a fake version. And that allowed me to take that step and justify why I was telling this person no. And if it doesn't like it, eh, I've got to stick to my values. And that's, some people consider it as impossible or extremely hard. It always is at the start. Yeah, to tell somebody that you've been, from a young kid, you've hung around with, after 20, 30 years of hanging out, thinking out, we're just on different paths. You go your way, I'll go my way, and that's it. It sounds simple, but it's fucking difficult. Correct. It sounds simple, but nobody does it. So well done for that. That's right, that's right. And... um, you know, it's people pleasing. That's all it is. It is. It is. That's probably the yeah. simplest yeah. way. Yeah, I'm going to be by myself. Again, I'm not being liked. And, you know, I'm not that interesting in myself. So, what am I going to do with all this time? What am I going to do with all this time? I'm going to be lonely my whole I'm life. I'm going to be lonely. I'm not going to find, I'm not that interesting. So, I'm not going to find other people. So, I might as well just stick to the people, people I've got, even though they drain me. Yeah. Better the devil you know. Exactly. Who the fuck came up with that? Some fucking idiot. Some dumb cunt, yeah. yeah. Better the devil you know. All right, so we're going to do a fucking heads in. Yeah. It, why is it so devil you know? That is the worst advice you can... It's fucking shit. I mean, look, I get it. Like, sometimes you might have two shit things and you got to choose the one that you Sweet. know rather than the other one. Yeah, right, cool. But, you know, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Look, that could be true maybe sometimes. In my opinion, you always got to check the other side. <laughs> you got to check the other side. And see if you like it or not. Because if you don't like something, you don't like it. Yeah, you, yeah. if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's, like it. That's it. That's it. That's you're it. not going to find reasons to like it. Different, you think you're missing out on something. Yes, of course. Fear of missing out, that's another yeah. one. But yeah, you're not going to find... Get it shortchanged. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to find... You know, you shouldn't be looking for ways how to like it. You don't like it. That's right. So... What would you like? Something else? Sweet. Let, invite something else in your life or whatever it might be and see how it goes. See how it plays out. Yeah, correct. And then if you don't like that, keep on moving. That's right. Find something else until you find something you like. That's right. That's it. But like when we say like, depends what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, you okay, might I'm just not, generalizing, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in the context of like, that's in relation to having friends um, certain influences around you, whatever your your environment. Yes, things that you can more control. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more that. Um, yeah, you know, number one, if motherfuckers aren't respecting you. Yes, you know what that looks like. All right, you know if someone's selfish, if they don't give a fuck, if you're happy, and they just want what they want from you. That's a big. You got to suss that one out. Yeah, pretty much you got to 
do whatever you got to do to justify in your mind that in your mind that your time is more important, your energy is more important, and um, people are either with you or against you. That's it. If you're going to please people using your valuable time, because time is the currency. We've been saying it fucking a million times. The only currency in life is time. Hmm. Where you spend your time, where you give your time to. So if you're giving time, which is a currency, to people you don't like, then fucking you're wasting your time. You're wasting your money. Correct. Just to be liked. Well, there's, no, there's no worth, there's no value to that. No. I'd rather spend my time doing the things that I do like on my own. Yes, but that's the problem. But of course, yeah. The you, realization of getting there. The realization that I've got something I can do with this time that I'm not spending with this person or these people. Because um, back in the day, I always thought to myself, time, I've got plenty of time. Yes. When I didn't understand the, the path I was on, I didn't understand where the fuck I was going. I was like, I've got, I've got plenty of time. I can, I can give, I can afford to fucking give whatever time to I want. To everybody. Like. Yeah, but I didn't have a framework. It's Once again, we didn't have a, a plan. The whole architect, the building. Yes. I didn't have, a, you know, all right, sweet, I'm saving this time. What am I saving it for? Why am I doing these things that all these personal development motherfuckers say I should be doing? For a purpose. What am I fighting for? Yeah. That's the perspective we always got to have anyway. Why am I on this earth for? What am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? So you've got to have a plan. Once you have the plan or an interest or you know, this goal you're aiming, you're aiming for, then by default, you're going to find that your time is limited. Correct. But I can't give all day or even half an hour to these people that I don't really like, despite if you like them or not. Let's say you love these people. Love them. Even family. if your family would have been my big, exactly. Right, you know, you know that I, I physically do not give my time because of this thing that I'm doing is taking up most of my time. This business I'm building. So automatically, it's not about what you like or what you dislike. It's about how much time you've got and how much time you're willing to give to, again, even the people that you do love. Correct. And it's not always going to be like easy. It's not going to be an it's easy It's never going to be thing. easy. Sometimes you got to choose between something shit and something shit. But the, 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 the one you do choose is the better shit than the other shit shit. That's it. As shit as that sounds. Well, yeah, what's going <laughs> to... A lot of shit. Uh, what's going to help me? Yeah, that's it. Then both might be shit, but at the end of it, between one or the other, what's going to help me go forward? That's it. Yeah, yeah. That was a fucking big miss. Uh, that was something that was missing in my life for years. The 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 reference point. What am I going off? I'm got the. I don't know. I don't. I don't yeah. If you don't know where the fuck you're going, how do you know where the fuck you go? You don't know where you're going. You're just cruising around, trying to work it out, looking for something that feels good. I don't know over here. It's all got to do with the goal. Where the fuck you going? Where do you want to be? Yeah, but, well, yeah. As I say, you, you can't hit something. You can't hit something for a bow and arrow. You can't be hitting something if you're not aiming for anything. Correct. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna sometimes gonna get fucked up. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like being a you gotta aim for jump. something to get the target. Yeah, that's right. But these are very simple concepts that we don't ever think about. No, we don't think fucking think about them. It makes fucking perfect sense. You gotta aim at something and you will hit it. It's fucking so simple. It's simple as fuck. Yeah, but there's a lot of noise. The noise is the fucking problem. That's right. There's too much noise. Put the noise down. Okay, you can see better. Correct. Yeah. And everything, I love the way everything could be broken down. All right? You might not need a... You don't have to be Mr. Olympia. You don't need to be fucking beach body straight off the bat. No. If you got problems fucking, let's say, for instance, all right? Different what we do, all right? We teach motherfuckers to take control of their lives, get fit, get healthy, all right? Get people. rid of all these limiting beliefs, correct. But if you're having trouble showing up on time for fucking work, fuck. Fuck. These things like, or, or sticking to your word, you know, my mum always fucking drains me. You know, you give your word to someone, you fucking stick to it. So from young, my word is my fucking bond. You know what I mean? I'm fucking... It could be if I don't stick to my word, it could be fucking ritual suicide. Exactly. There's a there's a 
pressure. There's a my my identity is tied to my word um, and what I can keep. And you know, when I say something, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to like fucking. If I tell someone, "Yeah, I got your back. I'm yeah. going to help you." See, proper help. These things. These, these proper help comes not when you can be fucked. It comes when you you can't be fucked. It comes when it's not going to be in a good situation. It comes when from you, the field. You're not expecting yeah, it. It's not going to be everything laid out. No. There's a lot of these. You know. There's a lot of people that got friends. All right. There's friends who so called have got your back. That's they got their back when they got nothing to do and um, they got free time and the stars align and like oh yeah I can I can help this guy because it's it's easy for me now. But stick it to your word when it's a fucking inconvenience and you said this and you got to go through with it. Even it's it, and usually it can be at a loss. You got to stick to it. Of course, it doesn't matter if everything fucking burns down. Fucking yeah, that friend calls you at three in the morning. Um. An hour from your home. Yeah. You know, my car broke down or on, 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 on a hand and you're starting work at six in the morning. It's either you're going or you're not. Yeah. Let's take it one step further. If you call me. Yeah. And you say, I just killed this motherfucker. All right. I'm going to be like, sweet. I'm going to get the fucking shovel. I'm going to sort this out. That's it. I'm not going to ask fucking questions of fucking this and that. I'm not going to say, oh, fuck, I had a late night. I need to get my eight hours fucking. I'll call you tomorrow. It's not going to happen yeah, like that. We'll work it out later. At a convenient time. Ken, at a convenient time, please. Fuck. I've been in so many sticky situations. The stickiest... The thing is, man, the stickier the situation, if you want to be... If you want to be a hard cunt, all right? Hard cunts do ugly shit. They do things when it doesn't feel comfortable. And I'm not talking about getting in a fucking ice bath, all right? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here with your ice baths. I get the whole recovery and all this bullshit with the ice baths. Because I take it too far with the ice baths, all right? I'll yeah. tell you something about yeah. that. That's physical pain. Yes, yeah, okay, it is. Uh, Which is more bearable than psychological pain. Psychological, emotional. Emotional. All right, now, yeah, there is a psychological component, of course, because you've got to get in yeah, there and you've got to be like, oh, oh fuck, course. this is fucked up. You've got to overcome up. that. It's overcome, yeah. all right? But let's just keep it at, like, let's say it's it's healthy for you. Okay. No problem? That's cool. But when you make a decision that is fucking, like, let's say you're in between your mum and your dad or you're your in between. Your mum and your missus. Your mum and your missus, correct. And they're punching on. And maybe your missus is... Um, not as valid as the mum or maybe they're both right or who the fuck knows and when you got to get in between that and who's sort that you out take and blah blah blah, blah. Who's, who's side gonna you get take? angry with you who's gonna get that whole thing all right now a lot of people might say yeah it's easy i'll just default to the missus because i live with the missus some people might say i'll just go with the mum because it's my mum she's done so much for me happy wife happy life you know all that shit correct happy wife happy life but let's say your missus is fucking dead wrong who whatever all right the point is here being caught up in these things, they get your fucking heart fucked up. They make you feel like shit. And then you're going to make certain decisions around that. Someone's not going to love it. And someone's obviously going to love it. But either way, you're fucked. Yeah. All right. So any decision, you're fucked. Those are the decisions that make us. Those are the fucking hardest things. The heart gets fucked up, you're finished. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I, I, for me, I pride myself in those situations. I always like to be the one who's going to have to make the tough calls. Yeah, pulling the trigger all the time. Pulling the trigger, but like Scarface said, all right, uh, you know, I understand that. Scarface says they need a bad guy like me to point their fucking finger. All right? Sweet, no problem. I'll be the bad guy because it's easy to be the good guy. Fuck. Everyone loves a good guy. Everyone loves the good guy. It's easier. I don't have to, um, I don't have to make this person feel like shit or... Some fucking bullshit. But yeah, it just feels good. That's right. Everyone's happy. It's good when everyone's happy. That's right. The emotional bank account. How much can you take? Yeah. You know, a lot of people, let's say, look, uh, right now with Palestine and shit and Israel, whatever, you know, kinds of dying, kinds of losing their families. Like, the weight on a motherfucker is huge. Now, that emotional baggage is like, forget about it. That's worth like, who knows? The shit that there's the pressure in their fucking heart no, they're carrying it's, it's around. It'll be a difficult situation. Correct. 
Now, we're not always going through losing fucking family members every day. No. All right? But being in situations where your honor, your word is more important than feeling comfortable, there's a lot of power there. And that comes with um, leadership. Leaders can take on, you know, they have to send their men to go fight. Some of these motherfuckers aren't coming back. So they've got to deal with that. Oh, yeah. this Making the hard die. decisions. Yeah, I'm a, yeah but bravo. Making the hard decisions. Yeah. That's what makes you a fucking hard cut. Not fucking ice baths. No. Because today I can go, sweet, no problem, ice baths. Cool, it's healthy for you. There's nothing wrong with them. Obviously. But I'm not a fucking mad cunt if I go in an ice no. bath. No, no. Because I can go and start getting conditioned to cold water. Yeah. And then I'm all of a sudden I'm good with, I can get comfortable with ice baths. You bath. definitely have to do these ice baths to prove you're a hard cut. Definitely not. You have to do that. Definitely do it for the, as you're saying, the health reason. <laughs> but yeah, but doing it for the sake of that, I'm proving to the world that I'm hard is fucking terrible. Let me say one thing and yeah. we'll cut it or we'll end the podcast. Um, the other day I was thinking, I was having a conversation, imaginary conversation. Someone's telling me like, I was thinking about Joe Rogan. He's like, you know, I do ice bath. I'm fucking, I swear you do ice bath. All right, I get there's a whole fucking trend. I'm like, all right. So this guy, you know, God bless him. Um, all right, he's on TRT. It's cool. All right, nothing against TRT. Mm-hmm. Vitamins, fucking optimizing fucking health to the fucking next level, no problem. It's got on everything. Beautiful. Sweet. Fucking ice bath, saunas, fucking. Pff. And I'm thinking, to the, I'm listening to the conversation, it's like, mate, fucking, even two hours after, I feel fucking great. Beautiful. And I'm thinking to myself, this is, this is, this is how I think, all right? Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> I think this is a good thing. I'm thinking to myself, I don't need to feel that good. <laughs> I don't need to feel that good. Is that hey, is that powerful? It's very powerful. I don't need to feel that good. Yeah. I'm sweet feeling the way I feel. I don't yeah. always need to feel up. Yeah. I'm cool the optimal. With, man, my old man, no vitamins, no cold, fucking nothing, no fucking nothing. This cat's a fucking mad cat. Healthy as fuck. That's it. Now, I'm not saying don't do vitamins. Vitamins are cool. You're missing something. Yeah, do your course. blood work. Do everything. Optimize whatever you can. Of course. All right? But like... To go out of your way to do these things on a daily basis takes away from somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, all right, he's in a he's in a fortunate position. Sweet, he's got money. He doesn't know he's going to go nine to five like yeah. fucking a lot of people. Of course, and he can do certain things, which I'm going to take advantage of certain things too. Obviously, but just the um, you know, it feels good and this and that. I'm like, I mean, uh, sure, feels good. I'm going to stick to what I do that I know what makes me feel good. I'm not going to freeze my ass off. To what am I gonna get? Oh, you buy me my fucking. There's good benefits, and how yeah. do we know? Because of the way I feel right now about myself, who I am, the things I'm doing, that I'm not ticking all the fucking boxes I need to tick. Of oh, that feel good box, yeah, exactly. Like you're, you're people in box. people in Africa, they're not healthy. Like they're not happy. They're hot all the time. These guys. Yeah, you could sit down for a ten minute meditation. Correct. And be fucking happy. That's what. And I'm feel saying. good. You can so, be yeah. doing the fucking thing you're meant to do and fucking feel good. Yeah, quit. you can be doing business deals, closing fucking some big account, Correct. whatever, and feel fucking gross. That's it. That's it. So, yes. Yeah. Good chat. Some good fucking nuggets in there. Good nuggets. Good uh, Good info. Um, Coming from the fucking source of uh, infinite intelligence. That's it, yeah. Good conversations. Straight through us, down to the people. That's it, that's it, yeah. Again, moral of the story, small steps. Small check, steps. Yeah, check yourself in the mirror, see what you need to improve. That's it. And get going, that's it. Slowly, slowly. That's it, mate. Doesn't have to be fucking overnight. No. Not going to be Michael Jordan tomorrow. That's it. You don't have to be either. Correct. That's it. All right, peace out, much love. Yeah. Yeah.